What's going on YouTube? It's Andy the Parrot Head Picker coming at you guys again today with another edition of Making Money Monday. I believe this is volume 53. This is my eBay sales update for the past week, which would be January 1st through the 7th. Uh, today I'm going to feature about 20 items that I sold over the past week. Uh, I'll tell you, um, you know, why I picked them up, what I paid for them, what they sold for. Um, and, you know, maybe a little story or whatever behind uh, each one of them. Um, just so you guys get an idea of uh, maybe what to keep an eye out for while you're out there in the field uh, sourcing and thrifting. Um, you know, do your due diligence. Don't hang on uh, every word that I say as far as, you know, picking up stuff and what have you. You guys are responsible for doing your own research, you know. But, uh, you know, I definitely want to point uh, you in the right direction if I can. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, I got a couple of uh, bolos in here this week. So uh, a couple items you guys have probably never seen from me before. Um, you know, like I said, I don't always show everything uh, when I sell stuff, but occasionally, you know, I mean, I'll throw something new in there, something different. So uh, this week I do have a couple of bolos. Um, one of them is an item that you guys have never seen me sell before. Um, it's an item not a lot of people know about that uh, you can sell and make some decent money on. So uh, you guys uh, stay tuned for that. Um, did have uh, one home run in here this week, which was really nice. So I was happy with that sale. So I'll share that with you as well. Uh, let's see, today I put together a uh, little ride along trip to the thrift video. Um, so I recorded that this morning while I was uh, taking my stuff to the post office. I stopped at my local Goodwill. I haven't been in there in about uh, two, three days. So I figured I'd uh, go hit them up, see if they got something new. There was a new color change yesterday, but it was so icy and slick out. I wasn't going anywhere. Still, uh, we had a Christmas uh, to go to last night, so that's why I wasn't on the Reseller Six Pack show. So if you guys haven't, uh, if you guys didn't tune into that yet, go check that out. It was on Tanya Thrifty Treasures channel. It was a great show. I got to watch that early this morning. You guys did an awesome job. Uh, like I said, that's why I was on there last night. Um, you know, just like I said, finally got Christmas done. Um, God, what else we got going on? Uh, not a whole lot. Um, I guess, uh, yeah, that all being said, uh, we'll jump into it and, uh, we'll show you what all you guys came here for today. So, okay. Uh, first, um, you guys have been following me any length of time at all. You guys have noticed over the past couple, three months, I've been really, uh, stepping up my shoe game, been really getting into shoes a little bit more. Um, I love selling shoes. Uh, this is actually a pair of shoes my wife found. Um, she doesn't go with me um, an awful lot, but uh, occasionally she will come in, you know, go thrifting. Uh, we got these at my local Goodwill. She, she picked these up, brought them over to me, and she says, hey, she goes, these are um, some Italian shoes. She goes, I don't know if they're worth anything or not, but they look really nice. Um, this brand here is called Brighton. Brighton makes all kinds of um, kind of high-end stuff. Um, I was watching uh, Dwayne Hale's uh, auction show here, I don't know, probably two, three weeks ago. And, um, and God forget, uh, please forgive me. Um, I can't remember who the guest was on there, but she had sold a bunch of Brighton items. Um, so it definitely triggered me onto the name. Um, when, when my wife brought it that I knew it was definitely worth something. It was Italian made. So definitely worth looking up. Um, I paid $3 for these, which was a great deal for these shoes. Um, and, uh, we ended up getting uh 26 99 plus made the buyer pay shipping. Uh, as soon as the customer got them, she wrote me right away. I was kind of cringing because I seen I had a message about these shoes, and I'm like, oh, no, I go, they don't fit. She doesn't like them. Uh, but she sent me a personal message saying how much she loved them. She said these are a great deal on the shoes, which I'm sure for, you know, $25, $30, yeah, that was a great deal for uh, that pair of shoes. So she was super happy, and then she left me some really nice feedback. So I was super happy about that. But these here are the Sarah model um, for these uh, women's Brighton shoes. So, you know, really nice. Just a really pretty pair of shoes. So I was happy, about my, happy that my wife found a pair of shoes. Uh, every once in a while, like I said, she'll, she'll find a little gem for me uh, once in a while. Um, this here is just vintage 90s Tommy uh, Hilfiger. Um, kind of a cable knit sleeve type sweater. Um, nothing crazy. This is extra large. Yeah, so the, you know, has the old vintage Tommy tag. Anytime you see the flag tag like this, that's the old vintage tags. Um, and I think I paid probably 2 $3 for this. Um, I got 26 bucks out of that, and it looks like uh, they got free shipping, so I think I screwed up there. But anyway, because uh, it's a little heavier item. Uh, so here's just for them bread and butter uh, Harley items. You guys know I love selling Harley stuff. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I think I paid a couple bucks for this. Um, you know, I, I love, I can't stress enough how much I love picking up the stuff that's other than black. Um, if you guys watch a lot of these sales updates, um, you'll notice that most of the Harley stuff that I do sell is, as far as t-shirts go, are not black. Uh, 
you know, and I get messages from people um, from time to time saying, yeah, I have a hard time selling Harley stuff. I don't know how you sell it, you know, for we'll get the prices that you do. You sell a lot, blah, 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 blah. Um, it's because everybody out there uh, tends to pick up a lot of the black stuff. And there's a million black shirts out there. But, you know, how many red shirts are out there? How many orange shirts are out there? How many yellow or green, blue? You know, the numbers are a lot less. So, and everybody has a closet full of the black Harley shirts, but not everybody has has a whole bunch of the different colors. And some some people just like to mix it up a little bit. So, so I tend to focus a little more on uh, the different colors uh, instead of just black. Now, I will pick up black. Don't get me wrong. Um, subject matter usually uh, is a determining factor on that, as well as price. Um, you know, I mean, if I'm getting it for a dollar or two, I'm definitely going to grab it, and it's in a decent size. But uh, and Typically, I will stay away from the smaller sizes in the t-shirts. Um, it's just me. But, uh, you know, they all will sell. Um, it's just that I have better luck personally with the different colors. So, anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, this is just a regular Nike windbreaker. Or, no, this is a FootJoy windbreaker. Um, I pick these windbreakers up quite a bit. Um, in the spring and the fall, they usually sell really well. Um, and you can typically get in that twenty to twenty-five dollar range for them. Um, they're super lightweight, so they always ship first class. Uh, I had this one on sale, so I got eighteen seventy-four for this. I usually list them at twenty-four bucks. That way, if I put them on sale, I'm still getting in that twenty-dollar range for them. Uh, but I had these for twenty-five percent off. It looks like so. So I got about twenty-five bucks, and I probably only had a dollar, two dollars into this. So this one was a large, you know, nothing crazy, just regular old, uh, wind, golf windbreaker. Foot Joy is a really good brand. Uh, picked up this BMW Motorsports hat. Um, I think I got this at a local Goodwill. Um, I think this is for golf. Uh, I mean, no, this is just regular. Uh, but anyway, uh, I got twenty dollars ninety nine cents out of that. I had this on sale for thirty percent off. I listed it originally for thirty bucks. I've had it in my inventory a couple months. Um, love selling hats. Um, you guys watched my last. Uh, sales update video i think it was the end of year wrap up i had a whole bunch of hats in there and i think i got over twenty dollars on every single one of them um it's typically the price point i get out of the majority of my hats is 20 bucks um and i'm always picking these up for 50 cents or a dollar um and that little uh kind of goodwill haul video or the goodwill uh video i'm gonna do i'll have out here probably today or tomorrow um kind of a trip to the thrift um you see me kind of go through the little hat section at my local goodwill um i didn't pick anything up but uh you know you see kind of some of my thought process behind some of the stuff at my store and you know what i look for and what i'm thinking about uh when sourcing hats so here's my home run of the week um this is the very first willis and geiger item i've ever found i've been on this has been on my bucket list for a long time uh just one of them items i never find in my area uh, I ran across this, I believe, at a Salvation Army, and I paid $4 for this. Um, super nice, like outdoor hunting, fishing vest, and I got $89.99, uh, plus it made the buyer pay shipping, uh, and this sold, I think, in two days. So this was a super return on investment. Um, if you guys are out in the wild, keep an eye out for Willis and Geiger. Their stuff sells amazing. Um, I have, like I said, I, I've been doing this. Uh, going on probably about three years now, and this is the very first uh, Wilson Geiger item that I've run across. I mean, I live in the middle of a cornfield in Illinois, it seems like. Uh, so, you know, we don't run into a lot of this stuff in our area, but, you know, we do have a lot of outdoor stuff that goes on. So, uh, but it's typically more Orvas, Columbia, um, that sort of stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah, these vests sell really, really well. So guys, definitely keep an eye out for Willis and Geiger. It's a great, great brand, and it sells super quick for some really, really good money. Um, you guys can check comps on, you know, just go on eBay and search solds for Willis and Geiger items, and you will be amazed at what some of that stuff sells for. Uh, so here's this pair of Lucky Brand jeans. Uh, got $26.99 plus buyer paid shipping for those. Um, this here's Thomas Pink, a um, brand I don't find very often, but it does sell usually pretty well. I think I only, I don't even think I had this for a month. Uh, it's what the tag looks like, um, and this is the slim fit, so those tend to do a little bit better. Um, you know, that's what the pattern looks like. It's nothing crazy, just a real, just a really nice dress shirt. Uh, and I got twenty two forty nine uh, free ship on that. Uh, picking up a lot of Disney stuff, but I'm kind of hit and miss with it. Uh, this is a really nice uh, Disney, just a thermal Henley. Um, kind of has an embroidered Mickey Mouse on it. That's kind of what the, the Henley looks like there. Um, 
yeah, I got a twenty-five nineteen out of that plus buyer page or no, it's uh, free shipping. So I was still went first class. So I still made about twenty bucks on this. Um, and this has the actual. This is actually from the Disney store. I'm real picky on Disney store stuff because obviously there's a ton of stuff from the Disney stores. I tend to focus a little more on the Disneyland or Disney World. Uh, actually, with a higher focus on Disney World items. But um, you know, it, it's all color, subject matter. Uh, you know, just the type of item it is and what have you. Um, that's why I'll take and, you know, tend to grab something and obviously price. So uh, the size was decent. And I think I paid like $3 for this. So overall, uh, really good, uh, really good flip. And this sold uh, pretty darn quick, actually. I think I only had this, I don't even think it was up for a couple weeks, maybe. Uh, so here's just Vineyard Vines. I don't run across many of these either. Um, just one of them brands that you know living in the middle of illinois vineyard vines is uh not very popular or common so uh you know if i lived uh out on the out on the coast or something like that i'm sure that would be uh you know in connecticut massachusetts that area there I i'm sure these things would be probably everywhere so um but, you know it's got the little whale on the on the chest here it's a little pocket polo shirt you know nothing crazy uh, i got 20 bucks out of that and i made the buyer pay shipping so Okay, this here's uh, Jerry Kramer's Inside the Locker Room. It's just kind of like a CD, audio book type of thing. Um, I got I picked this up at a local Goodwill for a buck. Um, it's new sealed. Um, he played for the Packers. And anything he talks about is uh, the 1967 championship season. I don't know. Somebody, uh, I'm sure this is a nice gift for somebody. Uh, but, yeah, I got a $27.99 out of that free shipping. So, nice little return on uh, that little CD there. Okay, guys, here is Bolo I was talking about. Um, this is something that a lot of you guys probably are unaware of. Um, and I'm not trying to insult anybody by any means. Uh, it's just you don't see these uh, in many sales updates and what have you. Um, this is an empty uh, Jordan shoe box. Empty shoe boxes sell and sell well. Um, your higher designer and brands uh, for different shoes. Uh, especially anything that's like a collector shoe, like with the Nikes, the Nike Jordans, that sort of stuff. Uh, the box definitely adds to the value of shoes when people people pick these up. I sold this for twenty six ninety nine free shipping. So it's a you know it, not a home run by any means. Don't get me wrong, but usually you can get these boxes for free. You'll see them in a garage sale with maybe some baseball cards or some trinkets in them. People store everything in old shoe boxes. So you can usually talk to people out of the shoe box or maybe pick it up for a dollar. Uh, but, uh, you know, my advice, if you ever see Jordan, especially shoe boxes, pick those up. Um, and I know, uh, I believe it's uh, Lauren Hot Chic Thrift. Um, she's a member of the reseller six-pack show. So if you guys are watching that, um, you see her. I know that she sells a ton of high-end dress shoe boxes and stuff like that. Uh, she sells a lot of them, picks them up, um, you know, at the stores and what have you. But, yeah, these shoe boxes go for great money, guys. Definitely don't pass on the empty shoe boxes. You can make some good money. They're lightweight. Um, you know, condition, obviously, is everything. But, uh, yeah, $26.99, not too bad for an empty box. <laughs> uh, so here's just a Hilo Hattie um, Hawaiian shirt nothing crazy but uh, it's 2XL and I got 18.74 out of that free ship this here um, I really screwed up on this this is one of those items um, that I picked up at a garage sale earlier in the year I I know I know enough that precision instruments are worth a lot of money. What I didn't know is that these came from Harbor Freight. I paid twenty bucks a pop for these, um, which I think I paid fifteen for the uh, caliper, and uh, I paid twenty for the dial indicator. Uh, um, I thought I got a steal on these. The guy told me, he said they're like brand new. He basically only used each of them once. I was able to open up the uh, dial, uh, the digital caliper. It was still working. It, it was all cherry. It's in the little box. It has the nice wood boxes and what have you. I mean, these things are immaculate. Um, but like I said, I didn't realize that these came from Harbor Freight. And Harbor Freight stuff is not worth hardly anything. It's a lower end brand. Um, so I've had these for a while. I've tried to sell them locally um, and this and that, and it's just not went. These ended up going to the Global Shipping Program. Finally, I got $60 out of these, and so they just went to Kentucky. 
So all in all, I probably only made, uh, what I got, 60, I think I had 35 into it. So I probably made $20 on this as horrible return on investment. But I guess uh, it cost me, uh, you know, 60 bucks to learn something. So um, I definitely learned something to uh, definitely research the brand. Uh, you know, the guy was a real smooth talker. I seen him right away. I knew, you know, I just assumed that they were uh, a really good item because uh, precision equipment typically goes for some good money. It's just Pittsburgh is not one of those brands. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, uh, live and learn. Okay, this here's a J. Crew, um, really nice, just wool. This is a lamb's wool argyle type sweater. You know, real nice item there. It's kind of what it looks like. You know, wool sells really well. This is J. Hems J. Crew. I'll pick up a lot of J. Crew stuff, but I do tend to, you know, grab some of it. Um, and I, actually, I got this on a Goodwill one, two, three day, so I only paid a dollar twenty three for that. I almost bought it when it's half off, but uh, I knew our one, two, three day was coming up, so I figured I'd just wait and see if it was still there. It was so, uh, yeah, nice pickup for a dollar twenty three, and uh, buyer paid shipping on that, so not too shabby. Um, let's see, Ralph Lauren, just double XL yellow, you know, just a classic polo sh or uh, button front shirt. Um, this here was a return. Um, I sold this once here a while ago. Um, I got it back and I uh, relisted it and it has since sold again. I got $23.99 out of that free ship. So hopefully uh, this one will work out for uh, this buyer. Regular Nike Golf. Uh, just dry fit performance shirt. I, I love picking these up. I usually, you know, if I can grab these for a couple dollars or less, I'll always pick them up. Uh, and this was a large, you know, black's a good color. Uh, and this one for uh, $19.99 free ship. This here's a Pendleton uh, jacket. I had this for, I've actually had this for quite a while. Um, and I don't know if it's just due to the color. I mean, it's not the most attractive color by any means. Um, I, I just personally, I think that's why it's sitting here. Um, and Pendleton stuff, other than wool, doesn't sell the best anyway. Um, just my opinion. Pendleton always sells, but it just usually takes a little longer. Uh, I did get $31.99 out of that, plus made the buyer pay shipping. So, um, not too bad, you know, nice nice little jacket there. Uh, getting to be one of my favorite items to sell is the L.L. Bean. Um, this is a really nice, just kind of heavy uh, cashmere blend um, shirt. I got $26.99 out of that. Uh, real heavy, you know, just a real heavy, nice, super soft shirt. Um, this is what the tag looks like. It's wrinkle resistant. It's, you know, cotton and cashmere, just a real nice shirt. So one of them, Life is Good. Um, this is actually the second one of this shirt. I, absolutely identical. I sold another one, same size, same color, same graphic. Um, probably just a couple months ago, and then I run across another one. So I sold that one. Yeah, it's the ugliest color, uh, but it's uh, the driving range. It has Jake on the front there. Um, you know, Life is Good always sells well. I got $17.99 out of that. Free ship. And I think last but not least, uh, I sold this uh, smart ass game. Um, it's new sealed. I picked it up probably for a dollar or two. And uh, this went for $23.84 free ship. So uh, that's pretty much my sales for the week. Let me uh, jump back out of here real quick. Yeah, that's pretty much my sales for the week, guys. So, uh, you know, a little bit of just kind of a little bit of everything. Uh, just kind of give you an idea of some of the things I source, some of the things I pick up. Um, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm, I do mostly clothing sales, but in the, you know, in the summer and stuff, you know, I, I do pick up hard goods. I prefer to sell hard goods, but in my area, we just don't run across those near as often. Excuse me. It's just water, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, yeah, uh, keep an eye out for uh, the other video uh, I'm going to put out. Uh, just be kind of like a trip to the thrift, uh, a little ride along trip to the thrift. So I hit up, uh, like I said, my just my local Goodwill and we'll kind of walk around and show you some of the stuff in there. Um, there's a few different neat things. I'll show you what I picked up uh, today. I hadn't been in there in, I don't know, probably two, three days. Um, I did find a couple of neat things, uh, you know, nothing crazy. But uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll uh, see how those end up doing, uh, get those listed. And uh, hopefully they'll be in uh, one of my next sales updates. So anyway, guys, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. That's going to do it. That's my time. And as always, fins up, everybody. Bye-bye.